this posture alone? Does this look like a b-boy posture to you? <laughs> if I wasn't a dancer and I'm just looking at like the athletic of her body, shout out to her in general. But do I think it was Olympic material? No. I'm a dancer myself. <laughs> I've seen this one where people compare her to like a golden retriever, like rolling around in the grass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like an imitation of breakdancing mixed with like interpretive dance. What the f <laughs> It's very different, yes? What's up guys, it's me Kareem Jovian and I'm here in New York City. This is Rachel Gunn also known as Ray Gun. A lot of people have some very strong opinions on her performance in the Olympics, and I wanted to see what New Yorkers think. After all, breakdancing originated from New York. Did you see what happened at the Olympics with the breakdancer? Yes, I did. I did see her. I think it's very different. We're not used to seeing that, this type of breakdancing. I love to dance. I've done a lot of dance in my past, so it is very unique. I think uh, maybe she did this type of... Uh, different strange dance to get maybe attention and have people talk about her and try to get noticed around the world. What would you say if I told you that she actually blocked the opportunity for a lot of great break dances from Australia and she basically cheated her way to the Olympics. Her husband is actually a judge and a coach. It, it's, it's unfortunate because there's other break dancers that are very, very good and they need to be there in the Olympics to perform their skills. It was such a great opportunity for the Olympics to show growth and to show inclusion, but all we got is people making a mockery of it, so to speak. Shout out Ray Gun. Shout out Ray Gun. I really do hope that more people who are deserving of these opportunities, field and space of breakdancing, actually get the chance to shine because, like, I mean, that's ridiculous. Uh, what would you name this move? I think the kangaroo pose is pretty accurate. It's smooth. <laughs> it's like breakdancing or whatever. That's cool. I don't interpret breakdancing any, like, almost no way in how she did, but, um, I respect, she's from a different country, so like, I respect. They probably looking at her like, if this is a representation of us, like we don't even want to do it. Or, like, you know, yeah, Australia's me. really pissed at her right now. Yeah, like I, if I was a break dancer, if I was one of those people that got like snubbed, my, my spot uh, snubbed, I would, yeah, I would totally like disclaim that. On a, on a, I'm glad we could laugh about it and, and look at that and kind of like, you know, come to an understanding of how bad that was. But like seriously though too, and if they want to bring that back for the Olympics, which I heard they might not do, there's so many other qualified people that I'm sure from Australia that are better than that. I'm sure from wherever you look at like, so I don't know, I don't know what, you know, who checked that off or who was behind it, but it kind of makes me sad to see, like, it's kind of like a mockery in a way, too, because that, that, that shit is pretty impactful for a lot of people, especially out here in New York. Like, that's kind of, it's synonymous with hip-hop and, you know, like, just the culture out here, like, you know, so, it's just weird. I don't really know what she was going for, low-key. The hate is kind of warranted. <laughs> I mean, it is, you know, she is truly taking an opportunity away from someone, and it's kind of, sketchy just doing it all like just because like the husband's the coach or whatever like it's kind of messed up it's it's quite sad i mean like when you think olympics you think like the highest level of athletics exactly. yeah and you see this it's it's quite quite disheartening yeah um i know she's from australia and that she got to the olympics and she was kind of on like the like she put herself on like the board right like she, yeah her husband is a judge and yeah that's a little questionable and i know she is a bit of like an internet thing right now. She's become a meme for her famous move here. What would you call this? I don't know what that's called, but it looks a little freaky. <laughs> There's definitely really talented people in Australia who could have like really shown up at the Olympics. And it also kind of made like, like it's the first year of breakdancing be being in the Olympics and it kind of made it look like a joke because she's, you know, not, yeah. she's taking away opportunities from other people. I think that dance is an art that can be shown in many different ways and you know can be expressed in many different ways sometimes when you dance you don't have to dance with a purpose mm -hmm. um, you can dance just freely mm -hmm. uh, but 
I mean, if she got qualified to be in the Olympics, then I guess then most people may have thought like her dancing was pretty creative enough to be there. We should take it a lot more seriously mm -hmm. um, and respect that world of dance because there's many different worlds of dance. There's ballet, there's contemporary, there's hip hop. I'm a dancer myself. I'm training yeah, nice. to be musical theater. Thank you. Um, and I am a hip hop dancer, an Afro dancer, and I take that kind of dance very seriously. So like if it's the Olympics, I do think we should take it a lot more seriously. Not to say that she didn't. I thought she was kind of tough, low key. Like really? Kind of hit that. Yeah, like she opened up her own organization, got herself in there without. Yeah, bro, think, think smarter, not harder. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, okay. I, I, all right, I see that. I see. Like, it. I, she got to the world stage. I respect that. You know, yeah, I stand, I stand with Raygun. <laughs> For one, I'm a dancer, and I'm from New York, and I know some of the top b-boyers, like b-boy K. Mill, Flea Rock, and all of them stuff. Nice. You know what I'm trying to say? So, shout outs to her for making it to the Olympics. Can say that for sure, but uh, um, can I tell you how she got into it? There's like I, I would love to know. I yeah, there's some, know. there's some, there's uh, some right now some contention, and people are saying that she got herself into the Olympics because she made her own organization, and her husband is the coach and the judge. So she got there, you know, kind of in a cheating way, and she uh, snubbed a lot of actual break dancers from Australia. Uh, well, that's 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 that sucks. If this this was the first breakdance Olympics, yep, and the last, they actually removed it because of her. You see, you see what I'm trying to say? That 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 just that just makes it even ten times even more worse. But I'm not mad at her, yeah, because she didn't put herself in. She got um she got um basically Couple leveraged, people. approved from somebody else putting her in. So that's the person who should really, you know I mean, take right, all the right. backlash. If this is the Olympics, meaning this is the global event, meaning the most talented break dancers in the world, yep. why was Nagin not in it? No, no shade against her, but the people who was throwing the event, they should have did a better job in actually caring about the sport itself. You know what I'm trying to say? In the genre in itself. The internet and pretty much all of Australia are really pissed at her because she made them look pretty uh pretty bad make it like a joke yeah and i know australia they're very passionate people i have to say though like you're a dancer yourself and you're actually you know she ha had it pretty hard and people making fun of her but I, I appreciate the fact that you as a dancer are still showing her love yeah. even though she really didn't deliver let's be honest yeah. but you're still showing her love and i respect that of course because she she's a she's a dancer she's not out there hurting nobody right. you know what i'm trying to say this is Dancing is, is, is something that's, that's universal, it's a universal language. You help and you heal people just through movement alone. 